Hey everyone, this is Ryder from Skip. I hope you're doing well. It's Thursday, August 20th, and I have a very quick update for you with the latest news on the unemployment numbers that came out today, the stimulus news, a new grant opportunity from Facebook to specific businesses that you might be interested in, the latest on COVID cases and California wildfires. This is a very quick recap. I'm going to talk about the news and then talk about the new grant program for small businesses. As always, thank you so much for subscribing and supporting our channel. Every day we spend hours researching information that will help you, especially when it comes to grant and loan opportunities or things that may help you as an individual or as a small business owner. Let's dive in. For those of you in California who use Uber or Lyft or drive for Uber or Lyft, some good news. Earlier today, Uber and Lyft sent out an email saying at midnight tonight they were going to stop operations. It was going to have a massive impact on millions of people in California who rely on Uber for transportation and for income. Around midday, a judge put a temporary halt on the ban, so Uber and Lyft won't actually shut down operations. So that's good news. Tomorrow, you will be able to work for Uber, Lyft, or get a ride in California. Of course, the other big news in California is the massive amounts of wildfires that are all over Northern California. Here's a quick map that shows all around the Bay Area, north of the Bay Area, east towards Sacramento, and even south of the Bay as well. There's wildfires and they've been growing tremendously in the past 24 and 48 hours. We're gonna keep an update on that, especially if it continues to spread. A lot of these are close to settlements and towns and urban areas. In unemployment news, the new numbers came out this morning, like every Thursday. 1.1 million U.S. workers filed new unemployment claims last week. That's higher than the previous week. Last week was the first week since the pandemic started where claims had been under 1 million. So it's gone up a little bit. So now in the U.S., that means there are 28 million people on unemployment. Also, three states will start paying $400 extra in the weekly unemployment benefits, not 300 other states are still waiting to make a decision or they've already decided that they're not going to put in extra money beyond the 300 that the federal government said they will put in. In terms of cases in the U.S., here's the latest map. Hotspots have stayed the same, relatively speaking. Case counts have continued to decline slightly and deaths continue to remain relatively flat, around 1,000 per day. In political news, last night Kamala Harris accepted her nomination as the VP candidate for the Democrats. Joe Biden speaks tonight at the Democratic National Convention. Here's a quick look at the helloskip.com slash blog. Again, we publish pieces every day to help you as an individual or small business owner. The $20,000 grants I talked about earlier this week, I'll leave a link to that video here. Five things you can do to improve your credit score, both as an individual and as a business owner, especially if you were denied EIDL funding because of your credit score. You want to take a look at that. Also, more about the EIDL grants and how they relate to PPP forgiveness. There had been some changes on that earlier this week. We talk about some Instagram accounts that are worth following, especially if you want the latest COVID news, COVID infection news, etc. Some things on immigration and unemployment and stuff on healthcare and the stimulus package. That's all on the Skip blog. Now, let's get to the new grant program from Facebook. So Facebook launched a grant program back in March. They gave out a lot of money to small businesses in certain areas, and this is a relatively new program for black-owned businesses. Okay, the grants program is part of Facebook's overall commitment to invest $100 million this year in the black community. So here's what that means to see if your business is eligible. Be a majority black-owned business, for-profit business, be legally registered in the U.S. state or D.C., have between 1 and 50 employees, have been in business for over a year, have experienced challenges from COVID-19 and plan to use the grant funds to support the business and community. There's more information on this page. I will leave a link in the description so you can click here to apply now. It's a fairly straightforward form. In terms of the grant value, these are small grants, but they're still very worthwhile. The grants are up to $4,000, comprising $2,500 in cash and $1,500 in optional advertising credits to use on Facebook. If you've received one of these, either through this program or Facebook's other program, I'd love to hear in the comments. Or if you're applying, I'd also love to hear in the comments as well. And like I've said many times, any new grant programs that come up, we will do a quick video on. So please subscribe if you haven't. As always, thank you so much for watching this video, supporting our channel. Stay well and stay healthy.